there's evidence on this earth that something has been running from it, but they stay strong enough to where they 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 live a tedious enough life. Um, that's what it looks like. It's just tedious. It's hard work, but that's how they made an escape from what whatever requires whatever has just made the world what it is through money. See, what we forget is that the the organism has been um, backed into a corner. They're trapped. In fact, um, by what? Well, if you want to get into your movie, folks, it's as good as sci-fi. We might have aliens here. We could have just basically um, a non-humane, uh, different thing. It could be um, something interdimensional that we can't see. We don't know. Um, we've lost contact with our interdimensionality. Dimensionality, if that's a, a word. So, um, what's this video about? God, you know, there's such a blind spot that, that we are living within or under. And I think that people like me who are, who are like, <laughs> we're like looking at this and see, I, I've been, it's, I've lived a very rare life that I chose if the opportunity is there, you will choose to be free from being held captive and trapped by, like I said, there's evidence that the organism has ran away and, and, and re just remain in a certain way that it's hard to catch them. Now, if you can imagine what these people looked like physically, like what we see, what, what build the pyramids? What builds the places in Machu Picchu or Argentina where it's it's many thousands of years old, but these steps, they remain the same the way that it is. It's like you, you, there's no handrails. And it's probably just somebody's house that they're, they're playing it safe. They're like, we want our lives. And if we can live like this, so be it, we will. And we're talking about living having your own breath, being able to sleep in peace at night, drink clean water, and farm your own foods. How about that? If there's enough of us, we can do this. But what stops us and turns it into a centralized, no, but we first must reform you and then teach you how to do it wrong. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. I mean, look at it. See, we can't even think that far or, or at, think that that happened at all. But there's plenty of evidence, and the history shows that war, 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 and there's a war happening now for what? What? For what? It's because there's technology. There's, uh, if you want to say, patents or just knowledge held about things that we are after involving. You can call it space travel, but it's really time travel. It's about our interdim interdimensionality. The phenomena of our intellectual belongings here, like how does it all work? It, it's not a random coming out of the mud. Uh, because something rubbed together and the temperature was just right? No. If so, even that had intelligence behind it and said, this is the way we're going to work it. This is the way we can because the properties allow, we know how to work creation. There are creators here. And our main lesson is, do you want to become much more aware of that creator so that you can become in co-creation with it? Or are you going to remain? What is happening here is is really, really, really. It's interesting. It's the hottest you can imagine. It's the hottest place in the entire galactic universe. If there is such a thing of many planets, we don't know it because we are so closed off. We are in fucking absolute. I mean, I don't even know. It's like it's so off the charts. It, it, it's just. It's like we. What the fuck are we? Ah, huh? puppet. Stitched up fucking dummies, you poor things. Us poor fucking things. Can't get out of. This is exactly how it feels. Like you just look around and like, I can't get out of the matrix here. I can't get out of this stupid loop. And how disinteresting everything really is. But people are, are caught on it. How? 
how? You're fooling yourselves. You're fooling yourselves. Why can't you sit down and think, oh, where is this all going? And and why why do we think any of that's important versus the other feeling good and, and getting along and all of that? Do you not question anything? My I woke up thinking, you know, I get I woke up and I, I get these amazing sayings that I should write it down. So much thought can be provoked behind it, more like the ability to imagine the right thing, and it could be disturbing, but it's for your own good. It's because you're going to become more alive and waking up and finding out, because there's only so much time here. You do not live an unexamined life, unquestioning, and just running the program and killing fucking God, and killing your own possibility to know, to know what was Jesus saying. Main thing was that we reincarnate. There is no death. We keep coming back here, loop de loop de loop de loop de loop de 